Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let me just put this down. All right, today, no. Today, and no, we're not doing a head-to-head -head comparison or anything like that. I ain't got money for that kind of stuff. Come on, guys. What I want to talk about today is the type of stream you may be inadvertently building. And what I'm talking about is group chat in your stream. Now, there's nothing wrong with being in a group chat while you're streaming, hanging out with your friends or your longtime viewers. But I think this is something not many streamers, especially beginner streamers, really kind of put some thought into and how this action can hurt or potentially help your channel depending on how you want the channel to be perceived, the type of interactions you're looking for. Now, we all been into streams where the streamer is talking in a group chat with either viewers or just the other streamers or just the friends that they play with and it kind of becomes almost like a group stream in a way where the people in the voice chat have their own personality and it has become part of the stream which is great i think that's a lot of good stuff especially for the streamer because you have more ideas and more voices and more topics to bounce off of and makes kind of the stream a little bit more interesting however there is a downside that i see and depending on how you want your stream to be it may actually end up hurting you for allowing a lot of group chat in your stream, especially when you're starting off. Now, of course, what I'm talking about is your engagement. Now, I have been to... Now, there's a big difference between a large streamer with thousands of viewers and a streamer with maybe 50 or 60 or even a couple hundred. And that is when you have a smaller channel, your ability to be able to engage with all of your viewers are going to be so much higher than somebody with a thousand viewers. Now there's a lot of larger streamers who do have these group chats going and it can be very entertaining because the viewership that comes to those channels are there to just listen in and be entertained. They're not expecting any type of engagement. But when you're first growing your channel, engagement is one of the most important things to get people to stay with you and hang out with you. And if you start to cut them out, then many of them might just leave and a lot of viewers who go into small streams are there so they can interact with you. Sure, perhaps they can play with you in the same game. However, they're there to have interactions with chat. They'll type something to you and you read it and you respond. That's what a lot of people who are going to small streams look for. Now, if you start enabling group chat, one of the things you have to be very careful of is that most people who are going to be in your group chat are most likely going to be the same people day in and day out. Now, this is great for keeping those three, four, let's just say 10 people always coming back always engaged in your group chat with you but what ends up happening and I see it from a lot of streamer channels is that the streamer starts to pay more attention to the group chat because it is voice it's easier to respond you don't have to read the text and it's just happening instantaneously a lot of funny interesting things can happen through the group chat especially if you're playing together yes it could be entertaining however keep in mind that if you're a small streamer like I said the viewers who are coming in want to interact with you now if they come in and your main priority is the people in the group chat and not the actual chat, which I've noticed happens a lot with stream channels who have group chat enabled. Then a lot of the potential viewers you may be gaining would start leaving. And what end up happening is that you end up kind of being stuck in a place where if you don't enable the group chat, then the ones who are coming in are gonna be leaving. And also because you enabled group chat for a long time, your new viewership starts to kind of stagnate. Not many people are coming in and staying. You essentially inadvertently built an inner circle that seems very difficult to break in. If I'm a new viewer coming into your channel, how am I ever going to think I'm gonna get into on this group chat? All of you guys know each other for so long, it feels like you guys are close friends, you guys are have inside jokes. I don't know anything about that. And when I type something in chat, you don't really respond that often. So new viewers have almost no incentive in staying unless they're the type of viewer who just enjoys that type of banter. I just want to listen in on that type of banter, which will beg the question, how long would they stay? Because a lot of larger streamers do the same thing and they can go into those channels, hear those conversations, and also have a lot more engagement with other viewers within the chat. Now, I don't wanna put you off against the whole group chat and chatting with your viewers or your friends and other streamer groups that you're in and you guys want to hang out that's absolutely fine and it can be great however it is important to realize this fact and not go into it blind if you're really trying to grow your channel you have to focus on engagement with the viewers who are coming into your channel and not with the people in your voice chat and it is going to be very difficult to ignore voice chat 
when things are happening live and especially if there's something interesting and funny is going on you're gonna have to pick either the voice chat content or the viewership chat content and more likely than not the voice content typically wins and give you a negative effect on your chat content which is a big no-no and I feel like a lot of these streamers who are starting off, who are consistently doing voice chat with their team or whoever it is, probably see a lot of stagnation once you get to a certain point and having trouble growing past their plateau. And in my opinion, I feel that this voice chat thing is definitely letting you hit your initial plateau a lot sooner and limiting your initial growth potential. But hey, that's just me. I feel the most important thing, especially for a new streamer or almost any streamer size to that matter is the chat. You have to engage with the chat as much as you can. This is one of the reasons why I love Ko Karner so much. He has thousands of viewers and he tries his best to engage with chat as much as he can. Same with Elohim. If you guys haven't seen him, he's got over a thousand viewers consistently. Sure, he's not gonna read your message every single time you type it because the channel is just too big. When he sees your message, is something interesting, he will engage with you. And I've seen both both of them being group chats as well, which is very entertaining, but they never let the group chat become the main staple of their channel. And that's one of the reasons why the people who go to their channel are very, very loyal to them. They pay attention to the chat, not the voice chat. Yes. So there you go guys, that's my thoughts on having voice chat in your stream, chatting with a couple of viewers. And for me, that's something I'm trying to stay away from. I do have some viewers who say, hey, why don't we have to get a voice chat? We always play together anyways. And I'm relatively hesitant because I do not want to create a feeling of, of inner circle. Whether or not that exists, it's besides the point, is how it's perceived when a new viewer comes in. And I want to be able to focus on the chat and see that new user coming in saying hi, or whatever it is and immediately engage them without having to put them on hold while this conversation in voice chat finishes and then I acknowledge them because by then they may not even be in the channel anymore. So I hope this is somewhat helpful in you guys figuring out how you want to design your channel and let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. I would love you to hear your opinions on having a consistent voice chat whether or not you feel that's going to be a detriment to the stream or not. So with that don't forget to you know that subscribe button is very very important. The bell icon I don't know whatever you want I just I, you know you know what don't hit the bell icon hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ignore the bell icon. I'm a goddamn rebel. That's right. Mm-hmm.